I'm Michael Shipman, founder and owner of Shipman Performance. Uh, Shipman Performance started as just an Instagram page for mine and my wife's cars. So we could kind of show everybody what we were doing, what we had, all the fun times we were having out here in England. And then it kind of developed from that into a business design and engineering motorsports parts for uh, specifically my Evo and BMWs that I'd owned and my wife's S15. And then I was able to have a great opportunity with Hyde to promote my business even further with them designing and engineering a twin charge kit for my Evo 5. So I have a 1998 Mitsubishi Evo 5 that I purchased pretty much a year ago to date. I previously had an E36 and I wanted something better that I liked more and Evo 5 has always been a dream car of mine. When I saw one for sale at a meet I was like I want it. So I convinced my wife to let me do it. She told me I had to sell my other car. It's like all right, cool. It's already done. Did end up getting that one. Looked online for a while. Found this one behind me in Swansea. It was already built, 460 wheel horsepower on nitrous. And I was like, this will be awesome. It was pretty much a full blown track car when I bought it. It's been to Spa. It's been on Nordish Life. Uh, pretty much every track in the UK, which is pretty sweet. Sadly, I haven't been able to drive it on all those tracks. When I bought it, I daily drove it to work and back for the first couple months did some little things to kind of make it my own. And then once I refilled the nitrous bottle again and was using the nitrous on the street, I blew it up, sadly. And from there, I was like, I hate filling up the nitrous bottle. I can only use it for so long before I have to drive two hours to get it refilled. So I started brainstorming ideas of what I could do, big turbo, things like this. Then I remembered my supercharged E36 I had that was a kit from Hyde Motor Works. And so on a whim, I reached out to them and was like, hey, do you want to build a twin charge kit for my Evo? And surprisingly, they hit me back up and were like, yeah, let's do it. Let's call this week. And that's what really got the ball rolling. So the way I first learned about Hyde was when I purchased my E36, it already had a Hyde Motor Works supercharger kit and supercharger on it. And that car was a blast. I loved every second of owning it. Wish I could buy it back, but it's currently no longer on the road. The sound of that car was like the most insane thing you would ever hear going down the road. It screamed, it shot flames, and it was something that nobody ever hears because mostly here people turbocharge their cars. And so having a supercharged E36 or BMW in general was kind of out of the normal and it had the normal like supercharger surge at idle and I'd be sitting at a stoplight or something, just wham, wham, wham. It was a head turner for sure. The reason that I reached out to Hyde for the twin charge kit was I had the idea of building a twin charge kit for my car or supercharging because I missed the sound of the E36. And I found a kit that another company produces and I was like, man, I really don't want to put all much money into it for that because I'd rather just build it myself. So I reached out to Hyde and that's how we all got started together. Right now, I'm a design and engineer partner with Hyde Motorworks designing parts for Evos and other 4G63 motor platforms. So I pretty much get the idea of like, hey, we need to build an intake system to mount a supercharger to. And then utilizing my own car, I design, make, and then send them and they upload it in a, a CAD program and then send me back a solid metal piece of what I designed. Currently, with the motor being blown up, I'm waiting on the shop so I can get in and get the motor built. They also do an Avaris wide body kit on the car as well. So there'll be three separate twin charge kits available for the Evo. The first of which being a Pro Charger setup utilizing the C30. I do not have a real C30 supercharger here because it's easier to mock up and design brackets with a 3D printed model. And that way I don't break it. This will be used for like lower to mid boost applications for like your more aggressive street car or track car. It'll be fed straight into your intercooler piping right before your intercooler and it'll feed all that low end boost before your turbo is fully spooled, giving you 
power throughout your entire RPM range. The second of which would utilize the Mercedes M62 supercharger for another lower boost application for more of a stock car, just once that low end torque. It'll be mounted above your intake manifold, but it'll utilize a custom designed intake manifold that it'll mount to and a dual air box to be able to allow air in for the supercharger, allow air in for your intake as well. And it'll also utilize your stock intercooler lines. The third kit I'll be building will utilize the same intake manifold as the M62, but it'll be a much larger like TVS 2000, what's found in like the GT500s or Dodge Demon type superchargers for your high boost, crazy street and track cars and drag racing as well. It'll utilize a hydraulic clutch so it doesn't siphon the power from your turbo after this is out of its boost limit. You'll be able to run 700 horsepower and above easily with this twin charge kit. I've been lucky enough to have Kelford cams hop on board with the build. They will send me out a set of TX272Rs, their brand new 4G63 cams for my build, along with a balanced delete kit. Along with Kelford cams, WMD Evo has hopped on board in the UK to sponsor the motor build portion and they'll be doing all the labor and build on the motor itself. Along with WMD, Plasma Man, Ross Sport, and Nuke Performance are also hopping in on giving me discounts for all the parts I'm ordering for the motor and the build. It's a great pleasure to be able to work with them. Great companies, awesome customer service. I'm very thankful for all the sponsors that have hopped on the build because none of this would be possible without them.